Hi, my name is Frank, and today I want to talk to you about switches. I'm not talking about light switches, and I'm not talking about electrical switches. No, I'm talking about a different switch. See, in my day when I was growing up, and you did something bad, mom said, go out to the tree and get a switch. Ooh, you didn't want to hear that, no. You didn't want to hear that. And you would go outside, because you had to, puffing, huffing and puffing and crying and pouting and everything else, and you'd get a switch. And you'd come back inside with something that looked like this. Mom would say, no, 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 no. And then you, she'd go, you'd go outside, you'd get a switch. Well, they had a way of taking these switches, and they could pop the leaves off of them just that quick. So, here's your switch. And then mom would go get a switch and clean it all up, and here's mom's switch. Now, let me tell you something. When they spanked your little legs with this, it left red marks. And you kids today call that abuse. That's not abuse. That's discipline. See, abuse to me is when you kick a child, when you throw a child against a wall, when you slam it on the floor, when you beat on it till it dies, that's abuse. We didn't die from the discipline, discipline that we got growing up as kids. See, Dad never, ever told us to go get a switch because Dad had a way of whipping that belt off, and it, pow, he'd pop you with that belt one good time. That's all you needed, and you behaved yourself after. But when, it, when Mom was swinging this thing at your little legs, you would hear this. And let me tell you something. N nothing like a switch to straighten your butt up and make you behave. I learned at an early age how to respect my parents because of spankings. My parents taught me right from wrong, and that's important, very important. I don't want to get into that. But anyway, um, so this is the switch. This, this thing, I'm telling you right now, you get smacked with that, and it hurts. It hurts. I'm waiting to see if a red mark pops up. No. No red mark. And if they did it right, they didn't leave a red mark. They just spanked your little butt with it. But if they hit you too hard, yes, it would leave a red mark. But let me tell you something. They knew the right ones to grab, too. They knew exactly. If you went outside and grabbed something like this, they'd laugh at it. They'd say, nope, uh-uh, wrong one. And they'd go outside and they'd get this one. And they'd take it and go against the leaves. And all the leaves would come off at one time. And you'd be like, uh-oh. And you, they'd grab you by the hand. And they'd hold on to you. Smack, smack. How about two good times, two or three good times? They'd put the switch down and say, go inside and get in your room. And you went inside and got in your room. And that was it. Let me tell you a little story. I remember when I was about four or five years old, I had a blue tricycle. And I was punished for some reason, I don't know why. Um, and my mom was at the kitchen sink, and she could see out the window. And I was in the driveway, riding that little tricycle up and down the driveway. My mom screamed, my nickname is Bubba. My real name is Frank. She screamed out that window, Bubba, get in this house. You're punished. I said, no. She said, get in this house. I said, no. Boy, she come out that front door. When she come out that front door, she started heading for that tree in the front. And I knew what she was going to get. I jumped off that tricycle and took off and got to the front door and locked the screen where she couldn't get in. I took off to the back. As soon as I got to the back door and reached to open that back door, Mama pulled that screen door open. She said, them little legs just aren't fast enough, are they? I said, no. And she grabbed me by the hand and waylaid me with that switch two or three times and told me, now I said, get in your room. And in my room, I went <laughs> crying my butt off. Well, let me tell you something. I learned how to respect my mother. I learned how not to talk bad, or bad to her. And there is a bit of a red mark. I know you can't probably see it. It's right there. And it stings. It stings to get hit. Well, just take one of them things. Just make one for yourself. You want to have some fun? You want to make a, a pretty cool YouTube video? You want to make a pretty cool um, TikTok video? Just grab you one of them switches off a tree somewhere and go smack one of your friends that's got some shorts on on his legs and watch him hop around. You'll have a lot of fun with it, I promise you. Just don't hurt anybody, okay? But anyway, um, so, yeah, we learned respect. We learned um, morals. We learned scruples. We learned, uh, we learned discipline, you know? And uh, anyway, that's all I got to say about switches today. But I'm going to come back with some more videos about my past life. So I'm 66 years old now, and I'm Frank. I'm from Kenna, Louisiana, where the grass is always greener on the other side. Why? Because we water it. So anyway, y'all have a good day. And switch.
for good health. Have a good one. Bye-bye.